that's what I should be asking. I'm just gonna go up a little bit further. They're, they're all spread out in this drainage line now. Oh, they're all coming from every direction. We're gonna be surrounded. Hi, guys. How are you, lovely? I'm just going to go a little bit further. Hello. Good morning. Well, I don't know about you elephants, but it seems to be a good morning for us. And they're very relaxed. They actually aren't showing any agitation signs at all. Now, if the lions had come through here, they most certainly would be in distress. There's lots of young calves amongst this herd and even though the elephants are the largest mammal that roam, roams the African plains, they still don't like predators. They get very, very upset by them. And not that the Nkuhuma Pride or the Birminghams have a particular taste for elephants. I don't think they've ever taken down an elephant before. And it's the same thing as giraffe. It definitely needs some practice to be able to take down large animals like that. It's, it's not the easiest thing. There's another cow coming through. Hello, girl. So they uh, seem very relaxed, not bothered by us at all. She's coming over. Look at her. Look at this one. That's rude. So if you ever were wondering if elephants had a hierarchy, within the matriarchal system that they have, it clearly looks like it, don't you think? Now, I don't know who's mom here. We'll try and figure it out now. It's okay, shame that you get bullied. They both have um, got swollen mammary glands. When elephants are so sociable that it's not uncommon to have another youngster standing with another female that's also lactating. Here comes another little one. So let's try and figure out who's whose calf belongs to which female. I think this older one that's just climbing over the logs actually belongs to that cow. So sh she's obviously just been chased off because they're feeding on something delicious. I don't think they're feeding on the apple leaf, that small leaf, that's uh, tree that's growing there. They're digging for something else, something that's growing around. There might be green grass, maybe there's a delicious forb that has uh, gone untouched. You can see that. Or you're just going to uproot that entire thing. Oh, she's now squashing the apple. There we go. That's what they're feeding on. Actually, I don't know. Is that a square raisin? I can't really see what they're eating. But interesting, they, after that, to the extent that one elephant got nudged out of the way. It's amazing. So I was saying, I don't think there's um, a huge matriarchal um, a sort of hierarchy. There's obviously the dominant female, the oldest, the wisest, the most experienced elephant uh, that helps make decisions when it comes to leading the herd, trying to find water, new grazing, browsing areas. But I do think that they do have slight altercations amongst the females. We clearly saw one over there. Whether it's because of size, I'm not sure, where you, where you can actually just push somebody out of the way. But very sweet. Now there's Franklins that are also alarming in the drainage line. I wonder if these lines are just not in there somewhere. I will try and get hold of Herbert again to see if he can help us relocate them. And these elephants are just so precious. Isn't that great? We're having all the animals come back again. I am so happy about this. And this always happens to me when I go on leave. <laughs> Lady Starfire, you say, yay, loads of elephants, and you've just said thank you to me for stopping uh, by the elephants to enjoy them. Oh, it's my pleasure. Uh, my favorite animal in the whole wide world. I most certainly would not go without uh, spending a couple of minutes with them. You know, it's so difficult because these lions we could chase after and they could just be on the move and they could completely disappear. It's not uncommon. Oh, hey, hang on. Senzel, this big cow that's walking towards us, I'm pretty, we know her. We've seen her lots of times. That tusk, her right tusk very long and then the shorter left tusk. I think this is the same breeding herd I've seen twice. Tristan had them the afternoon after I found them in the morning. I'm really sure it's the same herd because she's a particularly big cow. And there's a chugra calling now. <laughs> one of them. Little one, you're eating a stick. But they're feeding now along the drainage line. That's where this little one is running down to go and join the rest of the herd. What's wrong? Yeah, slightly flared, not because of us. 
maybe he's slightly lost, gone, oh my goodness, where's mom? You know that mild panic that you get when you've gone wandering in a shopping centre and then you go, oh no, I've gone too far, where is mom? That's what I used to do. I still do that, actually, and then I race up and down the aisles looking for her, and I think that's what happened there, but seems to be reassured now, obviously, can spot the rest of the family. No, is he such a, I'm also going to just look behind me, because imagine a lion just crosses the road <laughs> behind us, and we're too focused on the elephants. Oh, so funny. But we'll see what happens with these um, with these elephants. Maybe we can even tell Tara to come and have a look at these beautiful grey giants, and we'll try and find those lions. But let's go across to her. She's got a very pretty bird.